are picking up Mr. Ed. You wanna bring it in? Yeah. I should mind if you sit in the back, treat me like a cavity. <laughs> uh, you're in something called the Uber Experiment. What we're doing is we're shooting a pilot for a web series and a TV show in California. Think of it like a Shark Tank on wheels. See. We're talking to fun people who may have big ideas, big business ideas, and who are passionate about things. What do you do? If you mind me asking. I'm a musician. Are you one of those people that has an ear for music where you can listen to somebody play and then right away you just pick it up? Usually. Yeah, yes. that's crazy. The only thing I know how to play is what? Flute. Not a man's instrument though. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Burgundy's a flautist, man. From uh, Anchorman. He's a, plays he jazz plays, flute. Oh, well, he does. That's right. Come on. That's, that's manly. <laughs> what is it? That, like, are you in a band? You... Yes, I'm in a band. Okay. And we're called Bare Naked Ladies. Oh my god! It is you. I... It is me. Wow, well, very nice to meet you. Nice sir. to meet you. Hey guys, you guys are still playing? Yeah. I've been playing for 27 years, and that's something that people only in Canada say. There's a very small pie in Canada, and in the early 90s, we had a very big piece of it. <laughs> we're mid 40s now, like we're not. You still, on. you are still look young though. Just dye your hair a little, maybe <laughs> just like you were before. You were on the road. How did you manage to keep your family intact? Uh, well, I would give more of the credit to my wife, actually, because she was the one at home raising three kids while I was traveling all over the world in a rock band. Are you guys focusing on releasing any new material? I yeah, mean, we just put a new record out and I wrote the theme song to the Big Bang Theory. I guess uh, having a father who's a musician who can play all the instruments, you kind of got to follow that. <laughs> I have no well, choice. They, they grew up on the side of the stage. Yeah. You know? So they can walk out in front of 10,000. They just did in front of 10,000 people really? in Chicago. And it doesn't phase them one bit. I launched a website called TED Talks. It's a non-for-profit site that tries to implement the culture of entrepreneurship to young Canadians. And then if you are a business person or you have something to say, something important to inspire other people, then we'll just let it out on the internet for free. Right. And what was your big break? It was it Speaker's Corner? It wasn't Speaker's Corner, it was something else. We got banned from playing at City Hall in 1990. Okay and it became a national news story. Since I was a little kid, I wanted to be the center of attention. Oh, you know, okay, so okay. when I got to go out on stage, I was always excited about the challenge of winning people over and entertaining people. You were never afraid of rejection. Everyone who goes into a life in the performing arts is looking for positive feedback, whether they say they are or whether they realize they are yeah. or not is another story. A lot of people have great ideas, but they don't want to share them with the world because they're afraid of uh, rejection, ridicule, or whatever it may be. Right. And Some people are afraid to finish what they're working on because they don't want they don't want to let anybody down or they don't they don't want to hear an opinion on it. I always say to young songwriters and performers, don't like don't spend so much time on your first group of songs and making a record because you're going to grow out of it. Who came up with the name? How? how uh, what was I did. We, we just. You guys got drunk one night and you're like, hey, we're no, naked. Just... Let's be bare naked, ladies. <laughs> and the woman organizing the fundraiser called me a week before and she said, you're still on for the fundraiser, right? And I didn't have a band, but I said, <laughs> yes, I'm still on. Uh, but the name of the band has changed to Bare Naked Ladies. Uh huh. And the Lord's Heroes ones. And that was 27 years ago. That was awesome meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you, man. Do I have permission to put this on YouTube? Or? Sure you do, awesome. yes. You have permission to put this on YouTube. There you go, thank you very much. Says the guy from Bare Naked <laughs> Ladies. Awesome, thanks again. I got stuff in your trunk. Oh yes, you do. And here I was gonna take it and sell it eBay. Thank you. I felt so silly <laughs> after he said he's from Bare Naked Ladies. It goes to show that you can pick up anybody and anything can happen. my breath for a second there. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Right on. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I love it. Right. Recommend it. <laughs>